Originally, this was supposed to be a video where I took you with me on a winter overnight backpacking trip up to Mount St. Helens, but Mother Nature had something else in mind. The weekend I was planning on heading up to Mount St. Helens, I saw that there was a big snowstorm forecasted for the area, so I switched my plans. Instead, I decided to make the three hour drive up to Mount Baker here in Washington for a sunny midweek snowshoe hike up to Artist Point during the day, and then car camp on the overnight parking lot that night. The Mount Baker ski area has two different areas available for overnight car camping during the winter time, White Salmon and Heather Meadows, and reservations are required. Since I'd be snowshoeing up to Artist Point, I decided to reserve an overnight car camping spot up at Heather Meadows for the night after my snowshoe hike. Overnight parking for my car was $32 for the night. So in this video, I'm taking you with me on my epic midweek solo adventure of snowshoeing and car camping. It's been a while since I've made a solo car camping video and I've made a couple new additions to my car camping setup that I'm excited to share with you. A question I get all the time is, how do I stay warm sleeping in my car during the winter? In this video, I'll show you. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified each time new videos are posted. All right, let's head up to the mountains. So why car camping and why car camping during the winter? I love car camping, especially during the winter because of all the gorgeous scenery up here in the mountains. Everything is just so much more beautiful when it's covered in snow. Since there's less daylight during the winter, camping in my car means I don't have to make the long drive home in the dark after a big hike. Winter camping also usually means that there's less people out Unless you're this guy who decided to park right next to my car at 4 a.m. With car camping, I always feel safe camping alone in my locked car. I can literally go car camping anywhere my car will take me. And when I sleep in my car, I usually don't have to get up early and can sleep in if I want to. People ask me all the time how I'm able to stay warm while sleeping in my car in the winter. I'm excited to share with you that I've added two new additions to my car camping setup for the winter. First, I got a heated mattress pad to put on top of my memory foam topper. While I'm eating dinner, I can turn on the heated mattress pad and preheat my bed so that by the time I'm ready to get into bed, my bed is warm and toasty. And my second new addition to my winter car camping setup is the way I power my new awesome heated mattress pad. I now have a portable power station the Powdium EN700 Portable Power Station. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. 
This portable power station is super convenient for car camping and provides 700 watt AC output. Since my new heated mattress pad is 130 watts, the Podium EN700 portable power station can power it for several hours. There are eight ports for charging various devices on the device, including two AC outlets, two USB outlets, one USC outlet, two DC outlets, and a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, making this able to charge up to seven devices simultaneously. I can charge my laptop, use my heated mattress pad, and charge all of my other electronics including my phone and satellite messenger without needing to turn my car on. There's an LED light on the device which has three modes, strong, weak, and SOS. But I don't see myself using this feature since I have my Revel camping lights hanging in my car which provide plenty of light. The Podium portable power station can be charged using a wall outlet, a car charger, or even a solo charger. This thing charges fast too. It can charge from zero to 100% in just an hour and a half with using a wall outlet. The battery inside the power station has a 10 year lifespan with 3000 plus battery 100% charging cycles. It has overcharge protection, overheating protection, and short circuit protection. It has an easy to read digital display showing power usage and remaining battery life. And I love how compact and light this is. It weighs about 16 pounds and is the size of a small cooler. It easily fits in my car behind the driver's seat, making it perfect for car camping in a Subaru Outback. Interested in learning more about the Podium EN700 portable power station and maybe want to get one of your own for your car camping setup? Click the link in the video description below and use discount code KN2023 in the checkout to get $160 off your purchase. Plus you get free shipping. Thank you to Podium for sending me this awesome portable power station to use in my winter car camping setup and for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now with my new portable power station, I'm able to keep all of my electronics charged while being out on the road and get to stay nice and warm while camping in my car during the winter. The key to staying warm while sleeping in my car during the winter is having good insulation. Inside my car, I have a wooden sleeping platform that my dad and I built together. On top of the sleeping platform, I have a memory foam topper along with my new heated mattress pad that I lay on top of. I also use a down comforter along with a fleece blanket and yes, I bring my super comfy pillow from home. The nice thing about car camping is since you don't have to carry everything with you, you can bring heavier luxury items like heavy blankets, pillows, and a portable power source. For the actual car, I have the WeatherTech Sunshade full vehicle kit, which are customized insulated sunshades I can put in each window of my car. These not only help with insulating the car and keep the warm air inside on those really cold nights, but they're also really effective with keeping outside light from coming inside when I'm sleeping, and they give me complete privacy while I'm in my car. Some other ways I stay warm while sleeping in my car in winter, not going to bed on an empty stomach by always making sure I eat a hearty warm dinner and not drinking too much water at the end of the day. Otherwise, I'll have to get out of the car in the middle of the night to go pee. And anytime I'm sleeping in my car, I always make sure to have some sort of air circulation going throughout the car to help prevent condensation on the inside. Since I have a pot on top of my car, I like to crack open my sunroof before I go to bed for fresh air. I ended up sleeping warm and comfortable all night long in my car last night. It must have gotten really cold overnight because this morning everything was frozen over. That's winter for you up here at Mount Baker. Also, when I went to bed last night, I did have this whole parking lot all to myself until early this morning when this guy decided to park right next to my car. I'll never understand why people do that. So annoying. Thanks for joining me on my solo snowshoe and car camping adventure. I'll have links for all of my car camping gear featured in this video down in the video description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy trails and keep on trekking.